Number nine, identify and label the Bronsted-Lowry acid, its conjugate base, and the Bronsted-Lowry base and its conjugate acid in each of the following equations. And then we have this equation right here. So we have to find out these four things, the Bronsted-Lowry acid and base and the conjugate acid and base of H2SO4 plus Cl minus yields HCl plus HSO4 minus. The easiest thing to do here is to first pick out the pairs. Pick out the ions or the molecules that go together, that look very, very, very similar. So for example, if I highlight this H2SO4 on the reactant side, which one of these hooks up with on the product side? Which one looks more like H2SO4, HCl or HSO4? Yeah, HSO4 for sure. So these are one pair. And then by choosing this pair, you can kind of analyze to see if the other ones make sense. And yeah, Cl minus goes with very similar HCl. They both have a chlorine. So you pick the elements that kind of go together. The second thing that you're going to do is write the word conjugate on the product side. Conjugates are always going to be on the product side. Conjugates are uh, acids and bases that you form. They're just like the other acid or base from what you started with. So this has to be a conjugate. And this has to be a conjugate. But as of right now, I don't know what is what. I don't know if this is the conjugate base or if this is the conjugate acid or vice versa. On the flip side, these two are your actual Bronsted-Lowry acid and Bronsted-Lowry base. But I don't know which one yet, so I'm just going to say BL. BL for Bronsted-Lowry. Okay, now we got to find out which one is the acid and which one is the base. Now pick any um, pair you want to start with, whether it's the green pair or the blue pair here. So let's pick the green pair. Just know that your acids will always have one more hydrogen than the base. And if you want to say the same thing, but just reverse, bases will always have one less hydrogen ion, right? Hydronium. So... In H2SO4, you have two hydrogens, and on HSO4, you only have one hydrogen. Acids will always have one more hydrogen. So with that being the case, H2SO4 has to be the acid out of the pair. So this has to be the Bronsted-Lowry acid, and then because that's that, this one has to be the conjugate base. Now you just gotta do the same thing. For the other pair, Cl minus and HCl, the acid always has one more hydrogen. And this, there's only one hydrogen here. There's no hydrogens here. So this has to be the acid. And it's the conjugate acid because it's on the product side. And this has to be the base. Now take notice that for each side, you only have one acid and one base. You can never have two acids coming together or two bases. So if that happens, just stop and go back. Something went wrong. So that's like a, 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 a quick way to check to see if you're doing it correctly. But that's it. Now I'll just box off the pairs. So this one goes with this one. Greens go with green and the blues go with blue. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you all in later lessons. Bye bye.